JT, how would you uh, evaluate the, uh, the way the offense kind of got stalled there in the, in the first quarter? Obviously, turnovers had a lot to do with it, but uh, you guys jumped out 14 to nothing and then kind of kind of went into neutral a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Um, we had our foot on gas and then, you know, just kind of relaxed after the first two scores. Um, I mean, that's just all us. Um, I mean, it really wasn't anything the defense was doing. Uh, it was just, we can't have that in the game. How about Jalen Marshall, the way he stepped up today in his game? I mean, it was kind of a storybook game from a week ago. Uh, yeah, with uh, Jalen, he's a good player. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, things happen through the course of the game. Yeah. And uh, last week, it just happened often for him. But, I mean, uh, as an offense and as a team, we picked him up and told him that you're going to be all right. And sure enough, today he comes out and plays well. You broke the uh, Troy Smith's record on a shovel pass to him that traveled about a foot and a half. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I'll take it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> what does it What does it mean to break that record, though? I mean, that's that, that guy won the Heisman. They're going to retire his number. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's like cool, but I mean, I don't know. I was happy that we got a win today. I mean, it's all about the team and winning games and all the individual stuff and breaking records. I mean, that's cool, but uh, it wouldn't matter if we didn't win, you know? Yeah, sure. It's still pretty, um, you know, when you when this all went down and now that you're having this season you're having and now you're in the record book several times, back-to-back -back weeks. Did, when, you, when you got this gig, did it seem like, did you dare to dream that big? Oh, no, definitely not. I mean, like I said, the focus was to win games, and that's, I mean, that's what we come to Ohio State, just win every game we play. And so uh, we just lost Virginia Tech, but, I mean, just keep on getting better each and every week, and I feel like we're, we're uh, trying to have that focus every week. So. JT, what's it mean to know that you guys are going back to Indianapolis for a big home championship game? Um, I think that's uh, what we talk about when it comes to November. That's uh, the go out there and compete for championships in November, and I think um, I mean, we're just right on course of what we talk about each and every year uh, in training camp. So, so it's Michigan, uh, and then Indianapolis, and then whatever from there. Do you think? How do you kind of judge where this team is with that? Now, what's coming? Um, I think we're just on the on the rise, just coming up, uh, but just approaching it as one game. Uh, each and every game, uh, one game a week, and uh, just try to be one and all each and every week. Uh, and I think that's how you approach um, games at this time of year. Because I mean, you don't want to think ahead and things like that. Because that's when somebody sneaks up on you, you get beat. How about the? Did you learn? Can you guys take anything from last year up in Ann Arbor? You guys were undefeated going into that game, heavy favorites, and it comes right down to the wire. I know it's cliche to say throw the records out, but in this one, does that kind of seem like the way it is? It's always like that when you play a rivalry game, a high emotion game like that. Uh, I mean, that's just that's part of a rivalry. Uh, you really don't know what you're really going to expect, uh, but you try to control your emotions and uh, execute the game plan. And uh, I think that's at the end of the day is the team that wins, the, who controls their emotions and execute the game plan. So, and last year we. Came out and squ <laughs> squeezed that one out, but I mean, I think that's how you approach it. Did any of the, did any of the extra attention this week, the Heisman talk, did any of that bother you? I think today, Urban said that he would like to say no, but he also knows that you know, it's, it's uh, you know, something he had to deal with. Uh, I mean, no, not really. Uh, I think just as an offense, we didn't. We didn't play well, uh, but I, when I think of that, Heisman and all that, I mean, I can't control that. It's other people picking me to, for awards, so I'll try to handle the things that I can control, and one of those things was so offense could go out there and play well today, and we didn't start off that way, you know? So, um, no, that wasn't the case at all. How much were you talk to, to Braxton this week about the character?